Hello, this is Ronnie Odom with Navigate Housing. Welcome to Wednesday's Wisdom. Today we're going to try something different. I'm going to actually interview Jerethia Blake. She is a supervisor with the Family Self-Sufficiency Department with Birmingham Housing Authority. And we're going to talk about what makes their program successful. Welcome, Jerethia. Thank you for having me. Jerithia, thank you for joining us. Would you tell us a little bit about your program? Yes, I am the Community Engagement Social Worker Supervisor with the Housing Authority of Birmingham. And I oversee the FSS, which stands for Family Self-Sufficiency, and the ROS program, which is Resident Opportunity and Self-Sufficiency. I mainly focus with FSS as of now, and it's a program that is created for families who are living in public housing are receiving a Section 8 subsidy to become independent of government assistance. So what we do is we work with the residents and we create a plan based over five years. It may not take five years, it could be less than five years, or it could be more than five years. It just depends on that particular resident's goals. And in there we work one-on-one -on -one with the resident and the coordinators to create that plan and help that they are able to complete those goals. At the end of the five years, they should be able to become independent of government assistance. Wonderful. What are some of your um, graduate success stories? We have residents that have moved on and been able to purchase um, homes, become private homeowners. We have residents recently who use her escrow funds, which I'll tell you more about, to become um, to pay for law school. Residents were able to purchase transportation. That was a huge barrier that was helping them not being able to maintain employment, as well as just being able to pay off some debt so that they can have a better financial um, footing. That's wonderful. This is why, one of the reasons why FSS is so important is because it can really stop generational public housing. You know, where we have people whose mother lived in public housing, their grandmother, their great-grandmother, it's not a judgment about whether that not that's good or bad, but it, it uplifts people and helps them to get out of that cycle. So Jarethi, would you let us know um, how your management, how your executive director and your board support your program? Yes, Mr. Lundy and our board of commissioners are very supportive of the FSS program. Um, currently, we do a huge fundraiser because we are operated by a grant, but our grant just covers the coordinator's position. So we do a huge fundraiser each year, which is the golf tournament, and they um, actually have partnered with us to help us raise funds in order to provide funds to our residents to help them pay for little things like bus passes, the school books, as well as the scholarship program. But also Mr. Lundy was so intent on making sure that residents were successful that he increased our mandatory number from 100 to 500 families, as well as he brought the Ross program to the Housing Authority of Birmingham, and he hired new coordinators. So his idea is to try to have a coordinator for every site in order to help our residents become independent. He recognizes that public housing and Section 8 were never meant to be a permanent thing. It was just supposed to be short term for those residents who can become independent and are willing to work for it. That's absolutely wonderful. So they've increased the mandatory size from 100 to 500. That's almost unheard of. That's really great. Congratulations. And I think that it's really wise, um, speaking of Wednesday's wisdom, it's really wise for management to understand that in order to move people up, that you're going to have to use some of your own resources. So, um, you know, aside from getting the Ross grant, they're using their own resources to put on this signature event every year and then using those funds to um, help provide some services that cannot be paid for in other ways, as well as increasing the um, number of workers who actually work the program. That's really great. And how does that tie in to your, um, to your company's mission statement? Um, we believe in empowering our residents, and this helps our residents feel that they're not alone. Um, sometimes our residents face significant barriers that they may not be able to draw from that inner strength to empower themselves. So the coordinators and being able to have these board of commissioners and these fundraiser events to say, hey, we are not trying to leave you out there by yourself to do it. We're going to try to hold your hand as much as possible by just saying that if you can't empower yourself, we can empower you. 
So these are why we make sure that we do these things for our residents so that they don't feel like they're alone in this process. That's great. Jerithi and I actually met at a job fair that they hosted for family self-sufficiency participants. And we have become um, quick friends <laughs> in the industry. And I'm, and I'm very appreciative. I'm actually very new to Birmingham, Alabama, and we met within about 30 days of me moving here. Um, I've only been here about four months now. And I was very impressed with what they're doing. I've seen FSS programs all over the country, and I really love what they're doing here in Birmingham. Um, Jerithia, can you tell us about some of the other events that you all put on for your residents? Yes, um, we have a job fair that we hold at least twice a year, um, one in the big spring and one in the fall. There we invite all of our residents, not just the FSS participants, but residents to come and we link up with different employees or companies here that are actually hiring and that are willing to work with our residents as well as other resources. So they can come there not only to look for a job, but as well as resources such as childcare, uh, education, and um, I will also say transportation. And then during those job fairs and up until before the job fair, we actually do workshops where we teach our residents how to prepare themselves for the job fair. So we do things as interviewing skills, we help them create their resume or update their resume, as well as this year we, um, the Housing Authority employees, did a clothing drive of professional clothes where we had a closet so that our residents can, even up until after the job fair, they can actually say, hey, I don't have any clothes to wear to an interview, or I don't have any professional clothes for the work thing that I'm going into, so we are able to provide them clothes. Also, we do our FSS monthly meetings that are for um, FSS and Ross participants, where this month we're focusing on job um, development, but each month we have a different focus and they are welcome to come and we invite different resources from the community to speak with our residents and tell them what services they provide and how they can be a part of that. That's great. So as you can tell, um, Birmingham has a really impressive program and, and I hope that you've gotten something out of this today. We're gonna put Jerithia's information on the slide as well as my information so if you'd like to get more particulars that you can't find on the internet about their program, I'm sure she'll be glad to get an email from you and help you out. And of course, you can always reach out to me um, for more information. Thank you so much for joining us for Wednesday's Wisdom. Have a good day.